Hello everyone, this is Boba the Vulture. And we are trying to get Nicholas Latifi and Alex Albon ready, steady, go for the Australian Grand Prix. So, got them some softs. Got to get them out there to qualifying. We will directly manage practice three so we can get them in and out of testing as quickly as possible. Radio check. Radio check loud and clear. That's green now. Green now. <coughs> you know what? I'm going to send Latifi out first because his setup appeared to be in worse shape. Doctors are enabled. Get you a few turns out there. Now, Albon, you can go out. Now we speed up. Get my uh, get my laps in with these guys. They're pounding the pavement out there. Alonso and Latifi seem to be hanging out a lot. I'm curious enough to slow things down and see what it's like. Wow. Latifi is just leading a giant train of dudes. It sure sounds like something. It's not really something. But hey, he's got some clean air out there. He's doing his own thing. I'm sure everybody else out there is losing their minds. Being like, get this guy off the fucking track. Ah! But uh, it's okay. All right, back to lights. Got uh Yeah, it's just a rear very slow we off the car. Puppy. Guys, he's oscillations are killing me. Anything we could do. Well I mean oscillating. They just need so much fun grip. Oh. Puppy. Is everything okay? You tell me, Pelly. All right, how many laps have we managed to do here? You're not to the end of your run. I want you to complete your run, soldier. They're up to 84% track. That's pretty cool, right? He's getting into a dangerous area, 2019. And car balance feedback when capacity. Cool, good for me. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, good job, guys. Oh, okay. thanks for our good job. Oh, and he's 
going to come in just as that happened. Albon's heading to the garage, too? I didn't tell you to come back in. How much gas do you have? 3.1 kilos. Well, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, I mean, he's going to run out of fuel if uh, I don't let him come back in. But these stupid tires, they're just not quite good enough. Maybe our car is just too harsh on tires. Maybe we're harsh on the tire buzz. not going to make another lap, I don't think. <coughs> Excuse me. 86% confidence. Optimal. We got two optimals, two greats, and a good. You know, that's the best that we've done so far. We've got time. Let's try and do better. What can we do about your traction? can make a big difference to traction by adjusting the anti-roll. I don't think, I think we're dialed in enough now, we probably don't want to mess with uh, any of the wing angles, if we can help it. Well, that's actually probably best thing in the world we can do right now is just make these little adjustments here. Okay. What kind of tires do we have left? Another pair of softs. Run plan. What if we try and go 20 laps? It's going to tell me Need a compound with at least 19 laps of use left. Wait, did I not change the tires out? I never changed the tires out, guys. Oh, those ones are not been chucked out yet. It's just that they are old, used up ones. I really don't have them. Really not leaving myself with a lot of tires left for the actual race. But... And for qualifying. I don't know how many tires I'm going to really need for qualifying, guys. Are we really getting past session one? Let's see what he can tell us. He did not tell us that he had complete understanding of the setup, but he will, he will have some impression of what it feels like. So let's stop here, and we'll go over here, and we'll reconfigure. Feedback four of five. Is great. Is God's great. So he really is not able to give us the amount of feedback we need over the course of 17 laps. Which is frustrating. But what can one do? Let's see. Make these minor changes. 
Still not sure whether or not that uh, change that we made before we're done the right thing. But we, at this point, we're just just trying not to go too far. Like any change to wing angle almost is gonna just take us too far. In any That anti roll can we do some of the anti roll distribution? Yeah. Actually, that's good. Okay, let's see what we think of that. That compound is worn down. 100% compound. 100%. Yeah. And our run plan will be 17, 18, 19. Okay. Maybe with one more lap, he'll have enough uh, time to tell us. Then you guys both start your reconfigurator. Slide them bars. Slide them. <laughs> they're very, they're getting very familiar with the track now. They already have perfect confidence in the uh, car parts and whatnot. Now let's get over here and send out Mr. Latifiman. Oh, you're overdoing the pit lane speed limit. Oh, I just have the time, space time sped up. All right, Albon, get out there. And return to super speed. I'll let them put it around here, see what they get up to. No, it seems like we did our round of adjustments a little faster than everybody else, because they're all sitting in the pit lane, I think, making their little rounds of uh, tweaks. I just got a notification. about uh, the availability of the Mysterious JHE for uh, future fun and games. You know, I love future fun and games, right? Practically like the future warrior of fun and games. It's my uh, genuine hope here that uh, we're gonna learn some good things. Tires are down to 30%. I think we made a mistake. I don't know, the grip is just all over the place. Let's take a closer look. Now let's look. We're watching Nicholas Latifi. What? They lose it there. That's the spin. It's like 90% of the way through the dang spin. The team are devastated. They'll I'm be questioning devastated. just what happened out there. Oh, keep going. What's your confidence with the setup? Why the tires are like ice? Feels like a pump kind of ice. Ice! Just too ice! Baby! Track's not very wet. Looks like it might be getting wet pretty soon. Three minutes, there's a 40% chance of rain. So, guys, get those laps in. Just no very grip. Copy. I know. Do you want to keep working these tires? Yeah, I want you to keep working those tires. I want you to keep working those tires until you can tell me the setup's perfect, damn it.
Well, Albon's got perfect track understanding now. Latifi is almost there. Bears. I apologize if I ever say Almo Dares, as though that is uh, something that people would understand. That's not even a joke that uh, JG would uh, get, because uh, it is something that Baby Bronco said. At this point, I think probably like two years back at least, maybe longer, uh, very early learning how to speak. He's showing his mommy something that he he had up. There were a couple of boxes, and he was climbing up them. And as he climbed up, he started saying, "Omo dares, Omo dares." <laughs> like you're almost there. Yep, Omo dares. <laughs> Complete with like old man straining groan. I was expecting you to be just about done with the just about run here, but uh, just doesn't seem to be happening that way. All right, he's headed into the garage. He won't tell me anything about the setup. Those tires won't last long. He's on his way in. Already on your way in. Now, it's not going to matter because the session's over in five minutes, so we're not going to be able to do anything. But let's see what you feel about it. Six out of 15? Come on, we could do better than that. So. I mean, he's 86%. change anything but since I moved things back and forth it said that I had so yeah we're not actually going to configure changes made to pitting option car one would be safe that's fine and I want to look at Albon's confidence now too highest confidence set up 72 he's got one optimal two good to grade again they just are not getting enough time out there with these tires. I don't know if that's a, uh, a characteristic of this track, if this track is being harder on the tires, or if uh, I'm being too hard on these guys. Am I being too hard on you, Alex Albon? I expect a lot. I understand that. But, uh, you know, we got to work together as a team. All right, anyways, five minutes left. We're not going to be able to get done with anything in five minutes, so let's go ahead and run out the session. It's going to be time for qualifying, and I'm going to go forth with these setups because they're the highest confidence setups we're going to be able to uh, whip together in uh, practice. So session's over, guys. Good work. Get in there, you guys. And, all right, so everybody's 
done some runs on softs, and science is still faster than we're stopping, which is interesting. Let's see again, how do we do in terms of getting laps on with our boys? Nope, the uh, king of lapping this time around was Lando and Norris. And uh, in a move that stuns no one, we uh, timed just in between Sebastian Vettel and Lance Stroll. That was missed. The nine fifteenths of the driver performance bonus. And since the setup confidence for both of them is a question mark, we have their best highest confidence setup, but they weren't sure about one aspect of the setup. So that means we get this big penalty to our performance bonus. We still get a performance bonus, which is basically just like a point, maybe two, in each category instead of what could have been. Like, we could have gotten 15 out of 15 because we had 100% track acclimatization and 100% car part knowledge. Our setup, we were still working on. I was trying to get it perfect. And I guess I just need to use, note to self, I guess, use uh, medium compound tires for what you anticipate to be the last run of all of your practice sessions. Because I think we're getting knocked here because the last time out, even though they could tell it was the best setup they had, they hadn't figured out everything about it. So that's disappointing. But let's move on to hear a bit of narration about how exciting qualifying as a concept is. Oh, not yet, because I got to hit. The... Oof. It's going to rain. It's, it's going to rain. All right. That could shake things up. I'm I'm genuinely pretty excited about this now. Uh, qualifying in the rain could mean that uh, things get twisted, shaken. So let's continue. Yeah, that's you to do that the whole dang time they better not be trying to tell me that I lost out on that bonus because I don't know I didn't put new tires on the cars to sit at the end of the session oh damn it oh damn it damn it damn it I don't think I have an autosave now, but I had definitely done more work than this. This is not his best setup. Can I cancel out? No, it reverted back to that one. That's not the one I wanted. just got really screwed over and I also don't want to send him into qualifying with a quote unquote new setup even though his cornering is going to be bad he will be better off using a completely untested setup
or it's closer to where it needs to be. Oh boy. I was really hoping not to have to do this uh, this way because we get that wound way far out. Let's see if we can make adjustments that will put everything else closer to where it needs to be. Okay, and then can we get That gets everything in the right bands at the very least. So, we've got an untested. So yeah, we're gonna do one it's gonna be partly cloudy, so it's not raining yet. You can imagine it may rain during the session. So we're putting him out there in an untested set. We're putting Latifi in not his best setup, but at least it's freaking tested. Mm, I'm really frustrated by all of that, in case you hadn't noticed. So, um, I was thinking we were going to be able to get qualifying in this time, too, but the amount of little dithering that we had to do to get uh, Albon near his setup again, and I'm not blaming Albon, you guys. Albon did just fine. It's... <laughs> Just that somehow, the way the mechanics of this game, and I'm not talking about my crew, not those mechanics, the gameplay mechanics work, that somehow, unless they have total, complete understanding of everything, the way that the car works from uh, bumper to bumper, though they have no bumpers, wing to wing, uh, that you will then have this situation where you have absolutely no idea of what's going on you're like what i have no what this car is does it have wheels i don't know Are we in hell? i don't know um so because of all of that uh yeah we'll, we'll keep qualifying until next time i guess uh, this is bobo the vulture this is let's play f1 manager 22 thanks very much for watching i'll see all of you next time bye for now